Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this Tuesday devotional here at Ulysses Nazarene. Actually, I'm at my house, but this community that we call this this family of Christ, the Ulysses Nazarene. I hope you're all doing really good. Um, don't forget this coming Sunday is Mother's Day for all of you that may have lost track of time. Um, it kind of snuck up on me. I don't know if it snuck up on you or not. Um, we are looking forward to though, uh, doing some things for our mothers, and we're it's kind of in the working right now. Um, we love each of you mothers and we thank you for thank god for your lives uh today's devotional is actually going to be focused a little bit on moms as well if you are a mom or even if you aren't a mom this devotional is for you today we're going to be looking at the passage in ephesians chapter 3 verses 16 through 17. It says i pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with the inner strength through his spirit. It's talking about God here. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down in, to God's love and keep you strong. And you may have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is for you. You know, God loves moms and he wants, he wants moms to experience his great love. You know, all moms have a choice to seek the Lord and to trust him or to not seek him and trust him. But he has unlimited resources and, and he longs to hear the requests of those that have faith in him for even the smallest concerns all the way up to the largest concerns. You know, moms face many challenges every day for from the many stresses that this world has to offer. It's, it's difficult to make sure that the spiritual, the physical, the emotional needs of children are met. Uh, many moms are still guiding their kids spiritually even after the kids have left home and are older. You know, no matter how old we may get, a mom is still a mom. Yeah, at the end of the day, moms can get worn out. You know, the challenge is always there to dig deep in, in, into their hearts and try to apply the word of God into each of life's situations. The truth is that our, that, that our faith in the Lord will continually be our strength during these hard times, no matter when, no matter what's going on. You, you see these you see these little kids that you have and you may send them off to school. Right now there is no school. Um, but you're you're trying to take care of them at home now. You may be juggling a job. Many of you may be single. Um, you know, a mother's work is never done. Whether you're doing laundry, you're doing dishes, you're dusting, you're vacuuming, you're trying to do homework and, and teaching the kids at school at, at home right now. Um, you know, the list just goes on and on and on. It can be overwhelming. You know, all the day-to-day -day issues, and and yet. You need to focus you know, and, and train your children to love the Lord through it all. You know, as mothers, you need to continue to model the godly values that you want them to learn. You know, as children watch God's godly mothers you know, leaning on the Lord, the kids as well begin to understand the lifestyle of calling on God and getting drawing close to God. It's the only way that they should go. You know, Second Timothy, uh, Paul is writing to Timothy, and in Second Timothy chapter one five, is Paul says to Timothy, "I remember your genuine faith, for you share the fa the faith that first filled your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I know that same faith continues in you." So we know that this is Paul speaking to Timothy here, and and the reality is that. There are moms who don't have a personal relationship with God like Timothy's parents did. Many of you are um, following the Lord, you know, but many, many moms out there and maybe you, you know, maybe you're a single mom and, and you're carrying the struggle. You're carrying the burden of everything, you know, the financial stresses, the, the emotional stresses. The, but the good news is that God is always listening and he's calling for you to call out to him he's he's there he's hearing your cries he knows what's going on in your heart it's, and it's easy as just believing that jesus is the son of god who died for your sins and asking him to forgive you invite god into your life if he's not already there find a bible believing church if you haven't already found there and bring your kids with you but the choice is yours the blessings can also be yours 
you know, Proverbs chapter three, verse five through six says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and depend not on your own understandings. Seek his will and all that you do, and he will show you the path to take. God is there to guide you through all of your struggles. Lean into God and stop trying to figure it all out alone. Let's pray. Father God, I want to thank you for all the women that are out there right now, no matter how old, whether they have kids or they don't have kids, and no matter how, the age of the kids. The women go through so much stuff in life. Some are single, some aren't. Some are widowed, and some aren't. No matter what the situation in their lives, Lord, lift them up. They'll give them the wisdom to lean on you with all of their life. Help them to seek you with everything that they are. You are a good God. But thank you, God, for being with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Again, it was really great to see you all. Um, if you enjoyed the devotional or if you got something out of it today, please click on the like button down there and click on the share button down there. Um, just make sure that just let all your friends to be able to have an opportunity to see. You never know when God may be knocking on the uh, door to their heart and they click on your share. You know, God wants to touch them and change their lives just like he's changing our lives on a daily basis. If you haven't already liked the Ulysses Nazarene Facebook page, please like it and follow us uh, so you get notifications when we do go live. And until tomorrow at the same time, let God's peace and joy fill your life. God bless you all.